All right, so the very first thing I'm going to do is establish the new length, the new outline for this haircut. So I'm gonna basically cut a bob first, and then we're gonna go through and layer the bob. So right now, you can see I've got a center section down the center of the back, and I've got two A-line sections, one on the right side, one on the left side, which are clipped up and away. And all the hair that's hanging down from those clips, I am now cutting that new length. So, I'm going to work my way up the head, taking A-line sections until the length is completely done. And I'm just simply right there holding the hair in my comb and establishing this new length. So, here goes the next section, and I'm going to basically use that previous section as my guide to cut each and every section thereafter so I know how long to cut each section. And basically, that is how I will ensure that I have this same length with each section that I cut, by simply using the underneath section as my guide. Alright, so as you can see, I've got another A-line section that I've taken, except this one wraps all the way around to the front of the head, because now it's time to incorporate the sides, the left side. So, combing the hair down, holding that hair in my comb, and then right here, I am now cutting the length on the left side. Once I've established the length on the left side entirely, then I'll go ahead and address the exact same technique to cut the length on the right side. Again, last section, combing that hair down, cutting the outline for the left side, and then once the left side's all done, I will do the exact same thing on the right side. All right, so now that we've completed the left side of the haircut, it is now time to cut the right side. So basically, I'm going to do the exact same thing I did on the left side to establish the outline here on the right side. And once we've completed cutting the outline on the right side, we will be ready to dive into the layering. All right, so now it is time to dive into the layering. And you can see I've got a center section in the center of the back, and I'm combing that section straight back. And right there, I'm cutting the very first section, which is gonna be the guide for the rest of the layering for the rest of the haircut. Now, what I'm gonna do is simply over-direct each section to that previous section and use the previous section as the guide. So in this particular case, I'm over-directing the current section to that first section, because that's the previous section. But when I get to this, next section right here, I'm only going to over direct that to the previous section, not all the way to the first section. And I'm going to do this both on the left side and the right side. And that's how I will ensure that all my layering is the same length throughout the entire haircut. Alright, so now that I've over-directed all of the layering on the left side back to the previous section, it's time to do the exact same thing on the right side. So, first section on the right side, over-directing it to that very, very first section, which is the guide. And, basically, from there, I am now going to take another section, at which point I will over-direct only to the previous section. So the current section I'm cutting right now, not the very, very first section. I want to be clear, if you over-direct everything to the very, very first section, your layering is going to be longer the further you go away from that section because that section has further to travel. The further the hair has to travel, the longer that hair becomes. So you only want to over-direct it in this particular case to the previous section.
can see the hair is now dry and it is time to cut the fringe slash bangs. Not a whole lot to explain here other than you just have to cut it to the desired length that your client or model wants it. All right, we've come to the end of another haircut. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hey, don't forget to ask your questions or put your comments down in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And as always, I want to thank you guys so very much again for watching.